Hey there, YouTube. Thanks for joining the second episode of Jay's Beer Reviews. And so today, I'm actually really excited about the beer we're going to be reviewing. This is a newer beer that's come out. I, I'm super excited about it. I'm, I'm telling everyone I know about it. Uh, and that beer is Brickstone Brewing's Galaxy Down Under. So Galaxy Down Under is a, a new IPA that they've created in what I guess they call a single hop series. So it's an all galaxy hopped IPA. And before we get too much into the beer itself, I want to talk about IPA in general. IPA is super exciting for me because, well, I'm kind of a beer snob and I, I love drinking IPA. And so I'm super excited to talk to you guys about IPA because I love the style. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the actual style itself. So I'm going to grab my style guidelines right here. <clears throat> so the uh, Beer Judge Certification Program says that an IPA is a decidedly hoppy and bitter, moderately strong American pale ale showcasing modern American or new world hop varieties. The balance is hop forward with a clean fermentation profile, dry-ish finish, and clean supporting malt, allowing a creative range of hop character to shine through. That said, this is the 2015 edition of the BJCP. Uh, and from the last edition, which was like 2012, I think, from the 2012 to 2015, um, there have actually been some huge changes in IPAs. Uh, so I kind of want to talk to you guys about that a little bit. When I first got into craft beer, the number one IPA was Two Hearted by Bell's Brewing. Um, it's, it is a fantastic beer. It's it's awesome IPA. Still the kind of beer that I hold other IPAs up to to say that, you know, that, that is a great example of what an American IPA tastes like. Uh, another beer that's like that is Modus Hopperandi uh, by Ska Brewing. Their IPA for me is the example of American IPA. Um, it's no frills, it's no fruity, you know, tropical, fruit infused, blah, blah, blah. No, it's just straight up. It's got some caramel malt, it's got some pale malt in it, uh, it's got just a small percentage of wheat, but then it's classic American hops in that beer. And when I say classic American hops, I'm talking the sea hops, I'm talking Centennial, I'm talking a little Cascade, maybe a little bit of Chinook is in there, Columbus little bit of uh, uh, magna, maybe just for a bittering addition. Those are your classic American hops. And so in this new BJCP style guideline for 2015, they do talk about New Zealand hops. Uh, back when I was getting into drinking and um, when I was starting into my uh, homebrew, New Zealand hops did not exist. That really is a, a new thing for me here. So when they talk about in the style guidelines using New Zealand hops, that's kind of news for me because I'm a little bit old school with it. Not to say, you know, the Galaxy Hops are bad. I, it's delicious. I love it. It's interesting for me to actually watch how these beers evolve. Because if you take the 2015 style guidelines, compare them to the previous guidelines, uh, huge change in wording, huge change in flavors, huge change in really expectations of what you're going to get from this beer. That said, I mean, I, I read you guys the overall impression of it. Really, when I think about American IPA, I know I'm going to get a hop forward slightly malty beer at least. You know, some of the IPAs are a little bit maltier than the others, and that's that's awesome, that's great. I know it's gonna be bitter, I know it's gonna have a strong hop forward character. You know, really just the, the type of hop they're using or the, the kind of uh, hopping rates that the user are gonna dictate how that changes. So really I wanna tell you guys about, um, you know, what BJCP says are the best examples of IPA. Uh, and so if I go to the commercial examples, there is the Alpine Duet, that is listed as the number one example of an American IPA. Number two would be uh, Two Hearted from uh, uh, Bell's Brewing. Then there's Fathead's uh, Head Hunter IPA. Uh, I personally can't get that one here. Firestone Walker Union Jack, that's an excellent IPA. Lagunitas IPA, again, it's a, a, a nice kind of like old school IPA with the citrusy hops. Um, Russian River Blind Pig IPA, and then Stone IPA. Again, Stone IPA, I mean, Stone's making great beer uh, and so those are just the beers that the BJCP say are like the best examples of what an American IPA would taste like um, not to say that those are the those are the best ones or not to say you can't come up with ones that are gonna be better uh, but that's just what they lay out as saying you know we we made the guidelines we think these beers follow it to the T those are the best examples um, and even in those beers you can see there's there's 
quite a range of uh, flavors and uh, you know different uh, descriptors for those beers. The beer that we're trying today is uh, Brickstone Brewing's Galaxy Down Under. Um, I always just look straight to the can to see uh, any information about the beer. I am a really big fan of Brickstone's bottle art, their can art. I think uh, a lot of the images they put on it are really eye-catching. I think a lot of the color patterns they use are really smart. And so this one has got a nice kind of like, nice kind of green and pink or purpley maroon type thing going on. Really, really cool. You know, at, at the very bottom of the can here, I've got, looks like a, a boomerang here. I've got, uh, you know, a little kangaroo on there. There's some hops and there's uh, the, the brewed in Bourbon A, Illinois, which is where they're from, obviously. And then, yeah, it says that it's part of their single hop series using Australian Galaxy Hops. Only descriptor about the beer is that it is exploding with notes of passion fruit and citrus. Honestly, the, the can, it looks great. I really, really have been enjoying the, um, the art that Brickstone puts on. Uh, very, very eye-catching stuff they're using. Uh, my only issue with them is that I don't see uh, an IBU on there. Honestly, when I go and I turn a can over, I don't see a uh, expiration date or a bottling date. Not to say that the bottling stuff might actually be on the six-pack holder. So, you know, I threw that away already. I, I don't have it anymore. I maybe could get that information from there, but you know, what if uh, I'm out with a friend, I'm at his house and he, he gives me one, he's like, oh, take it home, just try it. If I take it home and it tastes like crap, then I don't know what the date is, I'm just gonna assume it's a crappy beer. I don't like no date. Uh, I don't like the important facts being on it, like IBUs. I do like the design, I do like the colors, I think it's very appealing, it's a nice looking can, but I, I think it's missing a couple things. So. What I did do is uh, I reached out to Brickstone and I actually sent them just an email and uh, I was asking for a little bit of information about their beer. They were actually really cool about it. Information about this beer is not on their, on their website at all. So I went to their Facebook, I reached out and uh, they gave me an email and so I was able to talk to someone at Brickstone, Tommy at Brickstone, very, very nice guy. Uh, he sent me their, basically their stat sheets. Uh, and so I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and read this real quick. It says Galaxy Down Under is a Galaxy IPA loaded up front with intense citrus and passion fruit flavors and aromas, as the name suggests, is part of the single hop series uh, to highlight uh, unique characters of that hop. On the sheet, it says it's 6.5%, which is something that is already on the can. 55 IBUs, which is actually a little bit low for the style. Like I said, the uh, Modus Hoparanda is one that I think is really the, you know, the number one uh, example that is uh, about a one-to-one -one ratio of uh, alcohol to hop. So it's 6.9%, 69 IBUs. At 6.5, it's a little low on the IBUs. Not to say that that's a bad thing. It's just the rule that I use when I'm looking at IPA. Then the last thing it tells me, it's available from February through July. So, um, you know, maybe you haven't seen it yet. Maybe it's coming into your area. Uh, maybe you never get it. That is its availability. I will be very interested to see if, uh, you know, maybe in July when Galaxy cuts out. I wonder if maybe they're gonna introduce a new single hop series beer. I would love to see how, how that plays out. So what we'll do is, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll plate my beer. I'll, I'll grab a glass and I'll pour it. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of information about the IPA style. Uh, if you have, please go on down, hit the like button for me. Uh, leave me a comment, leave me any questions, any concerns, something like that. Uh, and I'd love to get back to you guys, okay? So please join me for episode two. I'll see you then, thank you. Wrong.